Okay, so please don't watch this video if you feel, if you're of a sensitive disposition, if you're of a sensitive disposition, as it may be upsetting, this, this, this video. All right, so how to let go of your, how to let go of your phone account. So here's the thing. Now this is very high level spiritual stuff. So if you're easily upset at all, don't watch the video. Right, so karma, nothing in the world happens by accident. And everything is happening due to one's karma. There's individual karma, there's group karma, there's collective karma. So, what if there's really like difficult family patterns? You've got difficult family members uh, and there's a lot of heavy stuff going on in the family. How can you transcend it through mystical means? Okay, so, uh, Dr. Hugh Len, this is a very famous recent story which has been documented and it's not arguable with because it's the truth. There's evidence for this. Dr. Hugh Len is what I call a modern day mystic. Okay, so uh, there, there was a prison, a whole prison of, of uh, violent criminals in Hawaii, and uh, Dr. Hugh Len got the, all the files of all the criminals and he forgave them for what they had done. Yeah, and the whole, everyone in that prison got well and they closed the prison down. Okay? That is the power of taking 100% responsibility for the karma that shows up in your life. You take 100% accountability for everything that's happening in your life. And you do not project things, anything that shows up in your life as not being accountable to yourself. Okay. So everything that shows up in your life, you take responsibility for it and you clear the karma through forgiveness. Now how he did this, I'll show you how, how this guy who's a mystic cleared out a whole prison of, 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 of uh, convicts. So it would be like, it's okay. So, um, so dear, dear, you know, let's say he's got an axe murderer. He's got a file. This guy like axed, chopped his family into pieces and was put into prison. So he takes, you could say he's taking 100% responsibility for, this is the way I see it, interpret it. Like there's me, but there's like the me that is everyone. Does that make sense? Like I could pretend there's only me that's making actions or I could pretend there's a deeper me that is responsible for everything that shows up in my life. Okay, so if like a, a, a document of a violent criminal comes up, I take responsibility for that. And I'm, I'm willing to clear that data or that karma and, to, uh, and take 100% responsibility as if I did that. Are you with me? So which me? The me or the deeper me? Deeper me. I take, I take responsibility that I did that. Yeah. So, his prayer was, dear, uh, dear Father, whatever data or memories have manifested uh, the appearance of this axe murderer in my, uh, in my consciousness, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. And he's saying that to Vinti. Yeah? And then he takes 100% responsibility for everything that has appeared in, in his life. And all the prisoners got well and the prison closed down. So taking that principle uh, into a family situation is you take 100% responsibility for everything that's happening in your family. Okay. Uh, I would do it, you could do, dear father, um, heal the conditions which are manifested in me, uh, a mother with food addiction. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. You see, or you could do the Course of Miracles. Uh, God did not create a mother 
uh, with food addiction, so it's not real, you see. And you, you're willing to take 100% responsibility for this appearing in your life and to delete it, delete that data, so it no longer exists in you. So the question was, is it the, I'm connecting to the deeper me and I'm clearing everything, taking responsibility for everything in the world that shows up. And I'm clearing that and forgiving 100% until the data has vanished from my consciousness. And it usually happens that, I mean not guaranteed, but when all the data is vanishes from my consciousness, in a percentage of cases it will disappear in the world as well. Like the people who are insane will become sane. Not guaranteed all the time, but you know, those are the types of, well, that's an extraordinary thing, like you know, Jesus had extraordinary miracles. Uh, one person with cancer, I think, visited Mother Teresa and the cancer disappeared. So that's the kind of miraculous thing. But you're taking full responsibility. So if you see something in your family which is unforgivable, you need to clear that data, take responsibility for it, and then, then wipe it out. How will you know that you wiped it out? Uh, it will no longer really come up for you. It will disappear from your awareness. So uh, that's what I would. Uh, that's what I would do. Uh, I would. Do, I would take responsibility for everything that shows up, and uh, do God did not create it, so it's not real. Or dear Father, whatever data or memories are manifesting this. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And just clearing the data and taking responsibility for it and deleting it until it's gone.